Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing Cartesian coordinates in two dimensions. So for coordinate geometry you need to know all about the coordinate axis. So this is the coordinate axis here. This is origin usually we denote it by O. So now here if you see that this side is x axis positive x axis and left hand side is negative x axis. So we will have positive values this side like a number line 3 4 5 and so on this side we will have negative values right. So and the other side this side we have this is positive y axis this is negative y axis again we will have positive values of y over here and this side we will have negative values right so now we have four quadrants this is first quadrant this is called first quadrant this one is second quadrant this is third and this one is fourth quadrant so these are called quadrant because you see this is the whole thing 360 and this is quarter of each so from quarter it became quadrant right first second third and fourth now you need to place the points whenever we say the coordinate geometry we have always two points there right like x and y we usually denote the coordinates by coordinate of any point coordinate of a point we denote of a point by x and y the first one is always x and the second one is y now i will show you these points here how to locate these point on the coordinate axis so we have these four points here i have taken uh, a is 2 3 as i told you the first one is x and the second one is y so this is x and this is y so now for point a to locate in the coordinate axis uh, we have 2 and 3 x is 2 and y is 3 you start from it here from origin and then go along x this is 2 then go up there up to you see this one is here 3 and this side we have 2 so this point is point a having coordinate 2 and 3 meaning like value of a is uh, x is 2 here and y is three so both were positive so it came in the first quadrant so this one is done next is b negative 2 and 3 now what is x here x is 2 right this is x and this is y so x negative 2 we will start from the origin again negative 2 come up here then we have x is 3 so going above so this is 3 so this is going to be our point this was a and this is point b which is negative 2 and 3 right now the third one 2 and negative 3 now x is 2 x is 2 and y is negative 3 x 2 is here and y negative 3 going down there this way here so this is point c which is 2 and minus 3 right now point d we have negative 2 and negative 3 so this is x and this is y so negative 2 again start from origin negative 2 and then we have negative 3 going down here we have this negative point which is d is negative 2 and negative 3 so i have taken four different examples that all the four points came in the different so if both are positive its first quadrant if both are negative its third quadrant then it depends upon if x is positive uh, negative it's going to be left of the x axis if y is positive uh, no, sorry if x is negative it's going to be on the left of x axis and if y is negative it's going down over here so that's the coordinate so based upon that we will do uh, the other concepts like distance formula and midpoint in the next video see you guys in the next video thank you so much